Good evening, everybody. I am your host, Robert Gelfand. I go by Gel513. We are here. It is night seven of Spooktacular Scarathon. We've been doing this for a whole week already. It's kind of, time kind of fucking flies when you're playing awesome video games uh, that are really spooky. But uh, yeah, we got through most of this game last night. Um, we're on chapter seven or chapter eight. I think we're in chapter eight now. There are ten. And the thing about this game, I'm doing a no survivors run, but like either way, a lot of these characters actually make it to pretty far in the game no matter what you do. Most of them you can't kill. Like, only one of them died in chapter four, a couple of them died in chapter six, and like that's it. And then, like, it's really not until like around now where like we're gonna start seeing dividends uh, for all the decisions I've been making to ruin everyone's relationships for the most part and uh, drive a wedge between these friends and have some shit go down. I would have a really funny one with uh, Ash and Chris. But let me just adjust the uh, stream data here for a sec. Gotta get rid of the TM on Until Dawn. Because PlayStation does be dirty like that. Um... Um <clears throat> Josh <laughs> Josh How does it feel? Do you enjoy all those emotions that my sisters got to feel once one year ago? Only, only guess what? They didn't get to laugh it off. No! Nope! No, no, no! They're gone! Jessica's fucking dead! What? Did you hear me? Jessica is dead. You were gonna fucking pay, you ah! dick! What happened with Jess, Mike? I don't remember killing Jess. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, my God, Matt! Say, so we're going to finish this game tonight, and uh, everyone's going to die. Comments won't show up in the bar to my right, but uh, I have my iPad open so I can still see comments there. Uh, Until Dawn blocks them when I stream through PS4 for some reason, but I can still see them on the Twitch app, so if people want to comment, they can get at me there. Alright. I'll be checking down every once in a while. It's so weird. Alright. critical path. Let's down this way. Come on. So cute.
This is gonna be the way. So failing here it can kill her, but uh, I want to kill her in a different scene, or have her die in a different scene later with uh, Mike. These are pretty easy. You have to move it a lot to like move it out of here, which is nice. You wouldn't want it to be like some bullshit where like the slightest hand would just fuck you up. Man, the frame is so good. That might be like sub 20, honestly. Or like barely 20. This is so frame like holy shit. Use an old ass engine trying to make use it on newer hardware. Uh, oh. She gets bit no matter what. Um, if if she lives, like if she gets caught, she just dies. But... Like somehow she's fine from that though, or like fine enough. Adrenaline's a hell of a drug. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. So that sets up a cool scene later. <clears throat> hey, how's it going, Liz? Sorry, I can't see your comments on the screen. I can only see them on the iPad, so uh, I missed them earlier, but uh, I'll look down occasionally. Yeah, so this has like a whole element of... Um, Crap, what now? House... Uh, cabin in the woods, like that guy tied up to the chair was their friend who like basically played this, played this elaborate prank on them with all kinds of movie effects, so uh, but he didn't know about these creatures, so like, that's who they're really in danger from and then they thought the guy with the flamethrower was all creepy, and he's actually trying to fight those creatures too so really the creatures are the only like true bad guys, and then the kid tied up is like mentally ill what are you talking about? I said there's something out like there. Like what? Gosh, relax, it was Josh. It was all Josh. No, 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 no. Listen to we me. We got him tied up. He can't hurt you. No, it was after me, and it wasn't human. Hold on. Em, can you tell us exactly what happened? I am trying to tell you. We were climbing up the tower, and it... It fell. The whole tower just fell right into the mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What mines? There are these mine shafts all over, running under everything. When the tower fell, we ended up down there. I don't understand. The tower fell? How'd it fall? I, I was walking down there in the mines, and it was dark, and I found this pile, and there was Beth's head. Wait, what? Beth's head. I found Oh, it. my God. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I think they fell down there. Oh, Jesus Christ. But the worst part is I don't think that Hannah died. Like, 
From the fall, not right away. Wait, what? What do you mean? I don't know. I feel like she was down there, like, starving to death for weeks. When we were all up here looking for her, we had no idea. Jeez, that's horrible. Listen, in in the tower there was there was a radio and I, and I got through to someone, but then that was right when the tower collapsed. I just feel like how would they not have also searched the mines looking for her? Like not just like above ground. Why wouldn't they search below if they know there are fucking yeah, there abandoned mines there? Monster that was chasing her. She's all messed up, guys. Emily, hey Em. Whoa. Who the fuck can that be? Josh. Jess. It's not Jess. Sorry, man, but who is it? I don't know. We should check it out. I got your back. Good. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? Just do it already. Whoever it is is probably gone by now. I, unless you want me to take the gun. No, no, no. I think that's less good. You do the door. I got the gun. <laughs> Hold on there. Hold on there, mister. Freeze. Ah, oh, what? All right, all right. Just take it easy, Grandpa. Okay, everybody, just calm down. Now, just move over there. Go on, move. Let me say what I came to say. I'm here to tell you what you're up against being back on this mountain. You should never have been. I don't know why you did that happened last year. You mean with him and Beth? Yeah, how could you know without being involved? Oh, we're responsible. You hold on to your horses. I don't take kindly to you kids coming up here to my mountain. Your mountain? <laughs> huh? I'm sure the Washingtons would be very surprised to hear that. <laughs> well, the mountain don't belong to me, it's true. But it don't belong to the Washingtons. This mountain belongs to the Wendigo. <laughs> Who? What's he talking about? The hell's a Wendigo? Let's hear him out. Not like we have a choice. Now, I'm only gonna tell you this once. It doesn't matter to me if you believe it or not. I got reasons I want to get it off my chest. See? I told you. He's guilty as shit. Guilty as something. Shut up, Mike. There is a curse that dwells in these mountains. Should any man or woman resort to cannibalism in these woods, the spirit of the Wendigo shall be unleashed. So that's what happened with Hannah. She ate Beth because she was starving down there, and so Hannah has turned into a Wendigo. Although I guess we haven't seen her specifically, her tattoo yet, yeah, but that's what happened to Hannah. She'd be a Wendigo. Might be okay. Okay, get down there now, all of you, and wait. What? Why? For how long? Until dawn. Guys, I ran off and left Josh when I heard screaming. Where did you leave him? In the shed. Uh, your friend will already be dead. No. No, he, he can't be. I, we, we were just with him. A lot can happen quickly on this mountain. No. I, I'm not letting anything else happen to him. Anything else? What What do you mean? Uh, Chris, don't. I hit him. We thought he killed Jessica, and, and, and so he got me riled up. I hit him in the head. Chris! Maybe he deserved it. No matter what, we can't just let him die. Then, I'll go with you. I, I don't need your help. Ain't going alone. It's suicide. Fine. The rest of you, get down to the basement. Be safe. So, Don't this is where Chris is gonna die. Until we're back. Or, whenever we get control of him for this. You seem to understand the magnitude of the situation. Well, I'm going to get Josh, aren't I? No, I'm going to get Josh. You're going to help me. Do you understand? Ooh, uh, burn. Yeah, I think so. You need yeah. to follow me. Scarred up dude with the flamethrower who has been surviving against these things, I think gets a higher rank than you, Chris. With your shitty jokes. This is the end. You point towards the thing you want to kill. I know how to use a shotgun. 
shotgun, man. No, you don't. What? How do you know? Trust me, I know. So she's mad because I pointed that fake gun at her and fired. Uh, and she'd be really happy if I had fired it and tried to kill myself instead. Um, so even though I picked her instead of Josh to live in the first test, it's the gun thing that really matters. How many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Well, you've been shooting it a long time. You mean this thing won't even kill it? No, it'll slow it down. But how do you kill it? They don't like fire. I don't like fire. They fear it. And it can kill them. If you have to. See, their skin is like... It's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. It's gross. Well, what, what are these things like? I mean, are they just crazy unpredictable? Or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Some patterns, like any animal or human. What, you mean like how? Like they've got schedules? Well, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. <laughs> Probably don't like the sun too much. The uh, pro Wendigo tips? Like if I rub garlic all over me, they won't be able to smell me or something? Uh, they'll still smell you. Anything like that? See you if you're standing still. It's like toads. <laughs> Sight is based on changes of movement in their field of vision. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't recommend testing it out unless you have no other choice. Damn it! What happened? Ah, oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh. Right now. We gotta find Josh. He can still be out there. <laughs> First, the Wendigo. He'll render you immobile. And then he strips the skin off of your entire body, piece by piece. And then he keeps you alive and aware and feasts on your organs, one piece at a time. How do you know all that? I'll watch that. Yeah. Let's go now. Might still be near. Wait, no more. Be very quiet. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, is he just gonna die Run. here? Oh, well. He Go! Now! Now! Oh, shit! Oh, bro. Well, at least he didn't keep you alive oh, and feast on your organs. Fuck! 
gotta go. Like now, okay? Stay with me, Ash. Come on, stay with me. So, all right, that's a uh, two down. Jess is dead. Chris is dead. Josh has been dragged off. What took you so long? It's not good there. What? What do you mean? And uh, Chris is uh, not coming. Oh no! I can't believe this. Ash, I am so sorry. Okay. Maybe you I'm, should I'm sit down. Fine, Sam. Okay. okay. What about uh, that old guy? No sign of him. I think he's got to be dead too. <gasps> oh Christ. Yeah, that just went so fucking poorly. Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I, really I mean, I wanted it to go poorly, please. but like the old guy right dies no matter what. Dawn. At least we're safe down here. Oh, Title drop yeah. again. All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top. That thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah, I, I mean, right? Well, you can wait. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? One of his dirty little tricks. Great, great. If that fucking thing got a hold of Josh, then we're shit out of luck. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mine. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em. What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? So uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? <gasps> that guy was prepared for anything. <laughs> Not quite. What is this place? Oh, my God. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? I was down there. It was horrible. You were? You have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Oh my god. There was this reporter, and I think he figured out there had been some, like, big cover-up going on. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're gonna get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Um, what is that? Huh? What is that? Ash. Um, oh my god, oh my god, It's, it's oh my nothing. God. Oh, it just oh, it, oh, it no, bit no. me and... Bit you? What bit you? The... The Wendigo. The what? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's it's not that bad. Em, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's ridiculous. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike. You got to go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am. Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? It is just We're a bite, here. but... We're not going to let it be just a bite. We're going to panic and freak oh, no. out. You're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my God, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're, you're going to shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em. <laughs> Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. <laughs> this don't, is the safe room. It. Damn it. I'm really sorry. Ah! Ah! 
Bye bye. Holy shit, Mike! She oh, did. Shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, what the fuck did I just do? You murdered oh, her, and she I wasn't even going to turn. Mike. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay. Okay. God. It's over. It's over. Uh. You guys are safe. You guys are safe. <laughs> uh, are we? It's a safe room, guys. <laughs> it's a safe room. I had to do it. I had to do it. No, he didn't. He really didn't. Okay. I'm gonna get the key from Josh. I'll, uh, I'll come back here. <laughs> That's it's, over. it's over. It's over. Like, holy fuck. Man, just like continually like showing the body, just every time they keep panning to that. Fuck. Um. Oh, no, 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 what? no, no. What? What does it, what does it say? Mm. Let's deceive. Oh, uh, just a lot of crazy stuff in here. It's kind of hard to believe, actually. It comes across as kind of a whack job. This is so different from how I played through the first time. I'm loving it. Oh, oh this is so crazy. You should have listened to me. Because of your choices, people have died. I don't know which is worse, actively triggering events that lead to someone's death or passively allowing a tragedy to occur. Because you couldn't lift a goddamn finger to help someone else. Remember last year, huh? How you left your poor sisters to die? You did nothing to help. Paralyzed by your own self-centered fear, while a real threat was closing in. No, it's all about you, Josh. It's always all about you. Your game has gone terribly wrong. And your friends, like your sisters, have deserted you. You're all alone. Can you feel how cold your loneliness has become? Huh? Why did you hurt them? Joshua, why did you hurt them? They didn't hurt you, Joshua. Not intentionally. They made a stupid mistake, and a terrible tragedy befell your sisters. It did not intend for that to happen. It just did. And they were sorry, at least, until you subjected them to your night of horrific torture. Let's hope that it's not too late for atonement. And that your friends, if they still are your friends, can save you. So weird he's not speaking during this scene. Terrible. Isolation. <laughs> Maybe like filmed it separately, eh? And then... Mike, Ach, oh thank God. What took you so long? It's not good up there. Chris! 
Oh, there's Chris. What the fuck? Ash, I am so sorry. Okay. Maybe you I'm, should I'm sit down. fine, Sam. Okay. okay. What about uh, that old guy? No sign of him. Wait. No more. Holy shit! What the fuck? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. <laughs> um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Please. <gasps> oh. <gasps> Holy shit, Mike! Oh, shit, what the fuck did I just do? I'm going to get the key from Josh. I'll, uh, I'll come back here. So yeah, I can go a completely different way. You can save her and realize that there was no need to ever hurt her. Um, but that's not how we do in this. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, oh, yeah. So now we're going to meet back up with our good buddy, the wolf. Just chilling, there's anything back here. Sanatorium is the coolest part of this game. Hands down. Definitely one of the creepiest environments, I think. This just looks great. Um. Apparently that impatient game lets you actually speak the lines and like you like you have to like emote like a certain way, which sounds really cool. I would definitely be into acting out the role. That'd be really funny. Holy shit. Huh. What happened on the walls? That wasn't broken before, so let's see what's up here. Uh, so we got four survivors left. Um, actually, no. Um, five, right? Let's see. Got Josh, Mike, <coughs> Matt. No, 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 five. And then uh, Sam and Emily. Or Ashley, rather. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Get you your boomstick, boy. more ammo. Like, what are you doing? Oh shoot, no, we can't go through that. Okay, fuck, we gotta go back. My bad. Unless we gotta, let's just shoot this off. No, okay. What kind of shitty TV reception would you even get up there? 
on fucking rabbit ear antennas. Like, give me a break. I need to go. This is annoying. Um, I know this is back where I started, but where the hell am I supposed to use that gun then? Shit. Didn't intend to backtrack like this. I like these environments, but not that much. This is literally as fast as I can walk to. something else in that main room I can do this way maybe uh, oh of course Hey, it's our good buddy, Mr. Wolf. Hey, guy. We have a good relationship, though. Because huh? hey. my one rule for this, don't be a dick to you. animals. All right. Good boy. All right, pal. Come with me. Your master's right. dead. His head Here's got chopped time. off. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Think you can handle that? Oh. Couldn't have said it better myself. Poppy. Ah, boy. Camera angle changes like really mess with your be. movement direction. Stuck on this side. All right. There goes nothing. He likes it when you call him Big Papa.
Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to comment, I do have my iPad. Oh, it's so fucked up. I do have my iPad open, so I can't see him on the screen, but I can see him on my iPad if you want to get at me. That is super fucked up. Ugh. Jesus Christ. What the fuck have I got myself into? That's some predator shit. Ugh. I'm good, I don't need to get up close on that. Oh. There they are. There's Wendy. right there. What the fuck is that? It's crazy this is the fastest he can walk. Like, you think they want to hustle a little bit more. It's creepy as shit. Come on, Wolf, let's do this. Wolf's a ride or die. he never have to reload that. It should have two shells and that's it. Okay. He never breaks it and puts in new shells. He just didn't want to animate like opening the shotgun. Oh, 
Get fucked. Um. Yeah, he has to make it to the end of chapter 10. Whoops, I forgot that uh, I didn't get wounded though. Doesn't really matter. I don't know if we already passed it, but there's a scene where he can get caught and has to chop off his fingers. Really accurate fucking sawed off shotgun. Shoot the red barrels. Don't worry, you guys, it's still a video game. See their spirits fucking fly out. doing a quick scan for spiders. Last night we had an unwanted guest come in right as we were getting a question about spiders in the game. It was pretty fucking funny. It'd be that time of the year though. It's getting colder out. They want to come in and get warm. Up in North America, there's really not too much to worry about. Very few poisonous, venomous spiders uh, that are any dangerous at all. Uh, but in Australia, maybe I'd be a little more concerned. Barricade it, shit. What the fuck? Damn it. Fuck. Damn it, I forgot to barricade. Oh well. The wolf lived in my original playthrough, and I didn't want to <laughs> harm it. I didn't actively hurt it. That sucks. Kill the wolf. The Wendigos killed the wolf. They were dicks for doing that. Oops. Complete. Should have barricaded. Forgot. All right, we were getting close to the end here. So here's where we lose Ashley. Uh, there's a really obvious thing, which like anyone who's ever seen a horror movie, here's your chance to like not do the stupid thing and investigate the noise. Um, but we are going to investigate the noise. We're going to do the stupid shit that would obviously get you fucking murdered because, well, that's my goal for this playthrough. We gotta keep it spoopy. Maybe this 
is gonna show us a flash right here. Oh no. Danger totem. Um, so yeah, if Josh um, survives, spoiler, uh, he does not stay human. H him living, Josh doesn't have a good ending no matter what. He, uh, he either dies or he uh, turns Wendigo. Kind of sucks. Oh, oh, shit. Mike must have locked it behind him. Crap. There's got to be another way in. Wait. Hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Well, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. So who's going first? Not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? All right, relax. Oof, so much blood. Oh, that's a lot of fake blood because she was. That was from Josh's uh, fake death. Hey, um. Hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. No, she's not gonna catch up. Actually, you had a good run. You made it nine chapters into this hell, but it's uh, time to say goodbye. In about three, two. Hello? Who's there? Anybody? Jessica, is it you? So, very obvious choice, very obvious repercussions. Crazy. Do you investigate the creepy, mysterious Jessica. noise where the person we know is dead? Ugh. Although, she doesn't have to be Jessica, dead by this point in the game, but you? we know she's dead in our playthrough. Um, or do you rejoin the group and now that I've made this choice you can no longer go back like you're committed to this choice I'm pretty sure Actually, you might be able to go back. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, opening this is what kills you. Uh. <laughs> it's a lot of heads just getting ripped off. Ugh. Her and Chris' heads... Yoink. Real rough.
Oh, damn. Alright, so here we are with Josh, and um, to have him die, I think we have to have him like not read any clues wow, or something. Um, Piece of cake. Unless it was clues we read as other people, but I think it has to be like Josh himself discovering yeah. the shit. So we'll see. Mad ups. Come on, girl, you could do it. You've done this before. No chalk, no nothing. She's good to go. Those rocks would probably be dripping wet. Looks like a moist, damp ass cave. So I have to deal with it. Okay, guess not. All right. This is just gotta go that other way. It doesn't matter how dire the situation; like they will never rush down the stairs. It's so weird. She's not even that freaked out that Ashley's not here. I wish he uses a gun to block the door. Whoa. All right? Uh, define all right. Alive, for a start. Yeah, yeah, alive's good. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the Wendigos. I think I got it. Yeah. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Dropping. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. It may have taken him down to the mine. Wait. Sam is the only girl left alive. Holy shit, what the fuck? Josh ain't doing so hot. I'm going to get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and, and then I'm going to get us all the hell out of here. Holy shit. Whoa! Let's find a 
find a way down to where this fucker lives. <sighs> Almost done, you guys. Probably like maybe another hour at the most. Uh, I think tomorrow night uh, and Tuesday it's going to be Doom. I'm going to do that on a hard difficulty. Not Ultra Nightmare. Uh, but I'll be a completely new game. I'll start with like no unlocks or anything. We'll do Doom those two nights and then... Um, I think an Alien Isolation after that. So I, I'm going to leave you now, Josh. It's time to learn. There's more to be afraid of that can be dreamt up by the unhinged imagination of a self-indulgent, spoiled little brat. You had so many people who cared about you, who were willing to help. But at every turn, you choose to push them away. And now you're all alone. Though by the sounds of things, you weren't for long, for long. No, you won't be alone for long. Oh, he's so Deep good at being creepy. Josh. Deep breath. So good at being creepy. <sighs> All right. So we finally get to play this Josh. Josh. You're not real. You were all alone down there. All the alone. But you're with us now. Family. Get away from me! So creepy. Get away! Why didn't you save us, Josh? Why did you want us to die? Oh, it's so fucked up. I swear. Oh damn. Mental illness is a bitch. This scene. It's hard to believe that thing used to be a person. Yeah. Maybe a miner. Maybe someone who worked in the sanatorium. There was so much weird shit happening up there that wouldn't even begin to surprise me. What kind of weird shit? Someone was 
capturing the Wendigos. Had them all tied up in these restraints. I saw some real fucked up shit. Wow. I must have just let them all out when I blew the place up. Huh. Smooth move. See what's over here first before we head down into the water. Mike, is that what I think it is? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a grave. We gotta not investigate shit to let Josh die. Actively ignore things in the environment to uh, get an outcome. I'm going in. Oh, come on, it's okay. You sure? I'm not dead yet. That was the last words. <gasps> oh, this crazy. Hit me with I think it just speaks to how like minimal Matt and Jess are to the story that like live or die, they're barely in it for a good chunk of it. Like, Josh has to be away for, like, red herring reasons and, like, because he's, like, working behind the scenes on shit. But, like, they don't really... They're just kind of, like, love interests. And, like, that's it. Like, there's really, like, nothing else to them being there. Like, the others, I don't know. There's, like, also, like, more friendship shit going on. But, like, I don't know. I don't get the impression that those two are just, like, as good friends as the rest of them. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Okay, just gotta head to the danger room. Danger zone. Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Ah! Oh. Jesus. Oh. Jesus. Oh. It's Jess. It's Jess. Oh. Yeah, that would fuck me up too. Yeah. Oh. Gnarly. One head oh, in the cage. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I saw something. So fucked up. Oh my god. I am taking orders from you. I'm taking orders from you. You can't, you can't tell me what to do. You can't Josh? tell me what to do Buddy. anymore. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, okay. Okay, I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Now I think we get Matt. No. Oh, 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 oh. He's tripping or something. Josh. M M Mike. Josh. Hey, man. Don't, don't hit me, please, please. Well, you were deep in it, man. Full mental jacket. We didn't think we'd get you back. Hey, let's just get the fuck out of here. Okay. Josh, do you have the key for the cable car? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. You see that over there? That means there's a direct way out. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> there's no way Josh is going to make it up there. Okay. If you help me up, I can go back to tell the others we're okay. What yeah. others? Bring Josh back the way we came, and we'll all get up the lodge. Be careful. Yeah, you do. <sighs> yeah, that line would imply that more of them are alive. All right, let's go. The only other person alive right now is Matt. Uh, yeah, um, I'm sorry about before, man. I, I thought you killed Jess. 
I was wrong. This is a poorly planned evening, Josh. I didn't want you to die. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, Josh is dead. Um, there are more things you have to clues you have to find. I think it's Emily, Sam, and uh, Mike that like let you know that that's specifically Hannah beforehand um, that like give you a different way where he doesn't die. So here's Matt. He's going to die real soon because he doesn't have the flare gun because uh, we didn't give it to him. All right, so we're down to three. Are you really that proud of yourself for lighting a lantern? So that's slightly different than what I had intended. There's another one. I think I had to get to the end of the sequence and then not have the flare gun. And he gets, like, hung up on a hook, like, through his, uh, like, chin, like, through the mouth area, whatever. Uh, but that one's really fucked up, too. So that works. Either way, Matt's dead now. Just Sam and Mike. And then there were two.
This is probably the fastest I've ever seen them walk. Oh, that's a really cool one. I love that. So yeah, no matter what, no matter what choices you make, no matter how many quick time events you fuck up, it doesn't matter, Sam and Mike will make it to the end of the game, uh, or like final like encounter area. Uh, you can't do anything about it. like you can't like end it earlier than that. You have to get like back to this like big moment. Um, Uh, but if other people do make it back to the cabin, there are still you can still kill them in the way that you let uh, Sam and Mike die. There is a way to do that, uh, but it's more fun to like see it like happen over time, one at a t like all at once, as opposed to them all just like exploding. Shit. Person left. Sam. Mike. Oh gosh, you look terrible. It's gonna look worse if we stay out here. Come on. There's no one left. Everybody's dead. Irma dead. Especially since you killed Emily. How do you rate our chances of survival? Hmm? I'm trying not to think about it. Yeah. Sam, what are you doing? Run. Oh, shit! We're gonna move. Uh, 
I'm gonna be very still and oh oops Minor when he goes the fighting. So now it's just up to Mike, and now Mike cannot escape, because he can't get out in time. Uh, Sam, if she had stayed behind as the last one, would have had a chance to live in the state. Oh my god! Ugh. And, uh, everybody. Huh? Huh? How's that for you? Fuck! That is a no survivor's run of Until Dawn. Not a single person lived to tell the night. Unfortunately, not even the wolf, even though I wanted the wolf to live. Um, yeah, everybody dead. The main structure is completely destroyed. Over. Oh God, I'm seeing something. There is still no sign of any survivors. As intended. Uh, yeah, super fucked up. So during the closing credits, uh, any of the people who survive, you'd be like seeing them interviewed by police. No. Um, so we're not going to get that because none of them survived on this playthrough, but they'd all be saying different things like reacting to how the thing went. So like if Jess lived, she would remember that like Mike came for her, like if he did. And if like Emily lived, she, she would remember that eventually like Matt had to jump away uh, and like left her. So she'd be bitter about it. Um, you know, they'd all like remember different things about the choices you made with each other. Chris would be trying to tell people like the dude with the flamethrower like saved his life. Ugh, real rough. S ugh, gnarly. But um, yeah, wow, we got through this pretty quickly. Uh, it goes a lot faster when you let people die. Uh, cause you just have less segments to play as with them. Like, holy shit, that's probably one of the- that face, I think, is what makes it super fucked up. Like, just the hanging mouth open, like, askew, just like... And the, the way they keep, like, fucking focusing on it again. Matt got beat the fuck up. Like, oh my god, just... Oh, fuck, man. It's so fucked up. Um... I honestly might be more fucked up than the hook through the mouth, I don't know. Um, if Jess had lived earlier, she would have met up with Matt later and they both could have died down there. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was Until Dawn. It's so interesting to see that, like, how different it is from the, uh, the rest of it. Across the, um, we'll skip the O-Death song. And, uh, yeah, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. This was night seven of Spooktacular Scarathon. We closed it. We were, uh, done with Until Dawn. 
tomorrow and uh, Tuesday. I'll be playing through the Doom campaign. Should only take two nights. Um, I'll be doing that on hard difficulty, probably. And uh, start a completely new campaign. The reason I emphasize that is because there's an amazing intro to that game that you can only see if you start a new game versus like loading up the first chapter. Uh, and I definitely want to have that intro be in the stream because it's too fucking good not to have be a part of the playthrough. It's just too funny and awesome and so perfect for setting up the tone. Um, anyway, I'm Robert Gelfand. I go by Gelf513. That's my Insta handle. Uh, I post updates for when I'm live there. Robert Gelfand is my YouTube channel name, and that's where everything gets permanently archived. Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll be back tomorrow night with more Spooktacular Scarathon. This is going great so far. I'm having a lot of fun. Peace out. Hope you have a good night.